Here's the diagram of the sawtooth generator and this is what it looks like on the breadboard. But before we go through how this circuit works, let's take a look at the demo. Let's see if I can't stop this a little bit. Well, let me increase the frequency here. You can see that we're getting more sawtooth on the screen. And they're not beginning to look like sawtooths anymore because the frequency is a little high. Let me readjust the scope here. There we go. Looks like a sawtooth. Let me do that again. Okay, now turn it up some more. There we go. So we got a pretty good range and a pretty decent looking sawtooth. Lower it back down again. Now let me adjust the scope again. Oops, too far. Right there, that looks pretty good. The 5K ohm resistor and the variable 100K ohm resistor along with the dot zero four seven microfarad capacitor make up an RC time constant. And what that means is depending on the total resistance and the capacitance in this series circuit, will determine how fast or how slow the capacitor will charge or discharge. But in this circuit, we're really only concerned with how fast it charges because the unijunction transistor is going to discharge the capacitor. When power is applied, the capacitor, the dot zero four seven microfarad capacitor, starts charging through our resistors and when it reaches the peak point voltage of that unijunction transistor the transistor fires and through E V1 the 50 ohm resistor discharges that capacitor. Now when the capacitor is discharged the unijunction transistor turns off and the cycle repeats. The sawtooth wave is developed across the capacitor and we have a 2200 ohm resistor connected at the top of the capacitor and the other side of that resistor goes to the base of an NPN transistor and this NPN transistor amplifies the sawtooth wave. Here is a frame from the oscilloscope the capacitor is charging between these two points. That means that the unit junction transistor is off. And when the peak point voltage is reached, that unit junction transistor fires and discharges. And then when the capacitor is discharged, the whole thing repeats. Thanks for watching.